Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in New York for New York Fashion Week. If you followed the past couple of videos I posted, then you know this already. But if you haven't, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. This is my first ever New York Fashion Week and I'm so excited. We just arrived earlier today and I just didn't feel like starting the vlog yet because we were just like all over the place. But we checked into our hotel and I just showered, did a little face mask. My skin is honestly glowing from it. I did a Loops face mask. They are my absolute favorite. I'll show you guys the brand that I'm talking about. I feel like most people would probably recognize this. Got these at Target. I know they also have them at Ulta. And then of course they have like an online website. My towel's like about to fall down. But we're about to get ready to go to dinner together. I'm here with D. It's also our six year anniversary trip. So we kind of combine the two. Um, but yeah. I know, it doesn't, sorry. Donovan wanted to go on a little vacation. And he is so kind that he was super understanding in why I wanted to come to Fashion Week and try and make it happen. So we're here now. We're gonna go get Mexican food tonight. I found a cute little taco place. And I need to do a couple of TikToks of like getting ready. I'm gonna do my makeup and then my outfit and I will check back in with you guys. Okay, you guys, just finished getting ready for the night. Here is my outfit. My top is from Zara. I've worn this top before a couple of times. Skirt is Princess Polly. I got this off Amazon, which I forgot I had this until last minute. I was all dressed without it. And I'm so happy at how well this worked. And then I'm wearing my slingbacks because they're pretty comfortable and they're a little kitten heels and I feel like it just makes this outfit like a little bit more delicate. That's the word Donovan used and I fully agree. We left the hair down just to make it more natural but we are going to go get some dinner. <laughs> He's like, he keeps me in check when I'm like too lazy to go find a spot to take a photo. I'm her, I'm her Kris Jenner. Yeah, <laughs> he's momager. If you guys listened to our first podcast episode and he said that he's been my personal photographer for three years, he really, really has. And he makes me take photos even when I don't want to. But you guys, my feet, hey. I'm wearing like pointed heels and they, Donovan said I put my feet in a pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> and that's literally what it feels like. This is worse than point shoots. I'm not even joking. It's also still so hot out. I'm, like we're sweating and it's like It's only 9 30. That's so embarrassing for us. Okay, ready for day two. I thrifted this shirt a couple weeks ago in Indiana and I love the vest. My best friend's mom who lives across the street had to tailor it but I love a vest on me because I feel like I have really broad shoulders and the halter just flatters me really well and I love it. I was trying to put on something else and I was like having a mental breakdown and thank God for Donovan for knowing how I am and he was just like listen you're not wearing this you're gonna change which this is one of the outfits I had planned. I just had planned it wearing loafers but it's too hot for loafers and I felt like being more comfortable. I haven't worn the loafers yet so I didn't after killing my feet last night I just needed a break but I love this. I also thought I'd give you guys a little um, tour of the hotel before we leave. This is our front door <laughs> and then our bathroom is right here. The lighting in here is so nice. This is our closet <laughs> but we have some of our looks hung up. This is Donovan's which I love. You guys will see us wear that later. And then this is our room. It's honestly like pretty spacious for a New York hotel 
This is a king size bed, which Don and I have a full size bed at home. So this is, we slept so good last night. And then I have all of my stuff set up over here. So it's easy for me to pick out. And then I was doing some work here this morning, but it is almost 11 and we're starving. And I feel like that's also part of the reason why I was about to break down. So we're gonna go get our day started. Okay, we're at the Chobani Cafe in Soho, which is where Don and I came on our first trip ever together as a couple we was to New York. And this was our favorite breakfast spot and we were looking for bagels. And this just like, we weren't looking for it, but it was right in front of us. So we decided, yeah, it was the time we had to come eat here. But they literally, Hang on. They literally have the best breakfast, like pickled onion, cream cheese, turkey, like bagel. And we talked about it for so long after we left and they still have it. So we're really excited. For the day it's like 1 30 we're going to get coffee because we need a little break and then i want to check out a couple more stores once we get some more energy and, and then i want to go to the hotel and stand in front of the ac yeah i'm off the brooklyn yeah i'm off the tribe okay. it's warm we went to this place called step town it's and it's like right by NYU next to Washington Square Park, which is where we are right now. But they have the best matcha and they make their vanilla syrup. Can you taste the vanilla syrup? It's like homemade. It's so good. We came here with Caroline and Neely in May and I've been wanting to bring Donovan here because it literally is so good. It's kind of like, it tastes like matcha ice cream with the vanilla. Good morning guys, it is day three. I didn't really record the end of last night because Don and I just came home to our hotel for like a while, around five. And like all we did was shop yesterday and we just hung out and then we went to an Italian restaurant like right down the street in Brooklyn. And it was okay, it wasn't, like I definitely wouldn't go there again. It was definitely a little bit overpriced for the portions and the food, but it was like, it was fine. But today I'm getting ready for my first actual event that I have to go to. So I'm going to the College Fashionista Creators Loft. And College Fashionista is how I've done a, a couple of my collaborations in the past, like Lulu's and NARS. And yeah, those are the two that I did through College Fashionista. So I had a membership and I applied for the Creators Loft and it's hosted by Kate Spade, Tressa May, and Sarah Bay. So I'm really excited. There's gonna be like a speaker today. So I'm going today and tomorrow. It's a three day event, but I'm only going to today and tomorrow. I wanted to keep Sunday open because it's Donna and I's anniversary, but I'm really excited. Today I'm just going to one session, so I should just be there for a couple of hours. <laughs> Donovan's just gonna have to entertain himself. We didn't get plus ones, which sucks, but I will probably meet some people too, which is super exciting. And then there's also going to be like a borrow a bag from Kate Spade. You can do like hair appointments. There's like a place just to hang out if you need a second. I don't know. This is everything that they've told us. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm just getting ready. I know what I want to wear today. So hopefully I shouldn't struggle with that. All right. Here is my outfit today. I added a little hair bow in my hair. We've got some pearls and then the Chanel loafers. I love this outfit so much. I feel super chic. And I just hope my hair doesn't completely fall out of its curl because it already has a little bit, but we are about to leave. Alright, 
we went to the hotel and changed into something more comfortable because it's kind of rainy out and it was so hot and I just needed to be comfortable so I'm just wearing jeans, sneakers, and a leather jacket and I feel so comfy. And now we're in the Flatiron Distri District going to Kazunori which is a handheld sushi restaurant that I've heard a lot about and I'm so excited. I'm so comfy. This it's like a pretty like after rain sunset. Slay. <laughs> City boy, country boy to city boy. You guys, that was the best sushi. Was it the best sushi you've ever had? Yeah. That was well, so... we haven't been to Nobu yet. Yeah, we're, we have reservations at Nobu for our anniversary. People probably if think we we're run, richest food. If we run out of money before Sunday, we will cancel. No, we're going. We're just gonna, we're gonna, go, gonna go and get the tuna bites. We're gonna get the tuna bites and the yellowtail jalapeno yeah. and lychee martinis. I don't know about lychee martini. You're not getting a lychee martini. I'm, let me leave me alone. <laughs> I'm let me have a martini. But we're walking to Little Island. I'm not telling Donovan what that is until we get there. He wants to see a cityscape view and I've never been there but I've seen this all over TikTok so we'll see if it's worth the hype. I feel like it'll be pretty. You guys this is so cool. Donovan wanted some fresh air <laughs> <laughs> so this is the best. I mean there's a lot of trees and greenery. It's gorge, 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 gorge. The amp. What's huh? the amp? Oh. Like the amphitheater. Oh. Ooh. Wow. This is really weird, like an island. Yeah. This is so insane. I love it here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Alright you guys, here is the day four outfit. This top is naked and it has the scarf and it's like a sleeveless top. I have my Princess Polly skirt on and then you guys, these heels, ooh, just lost my balance. These heels are so gorgeous. They're the Dolce Vita for Love and Lemons Club and I'm obsessed. I'm definitely gonna wear other shoes though, probably my Sambas and then change when I get there. We came to this pizza by the slice place in Soho a couple days ago and it's literally so good that we're back here for a quick bite. Navigating a brand deal. Uh, tell us how to stand out of your outfit. What day is it? <laughs> day three. Day three. We had some Prosecco. A little bit of Prosecco. Because we were in shitty ass moods. Like literally I was being a bitch. So Donovan got a $50 bottle of Prosecco at the hotel next door. I can't afford that by the way. <laughs> he came back and was like, I spent $50 on this. And I was like, I mean, oh, thanks, but you didn't have to. Anyways, this is my outfit tonight. And you're probably thinking she's never worn anything like that before. And you're right. Because I told myself when I came to New York that I was going to step out of my comfort zone. And I literally feel so good in this. I love the sheer. We're wearing a Skims bralette and um, little cheeky brief. It is pretty <laughs> full coverage because I'm not there yet. 
but I love this. We're gonna throw on a little leather jacket on the subway because, you know. So, we're gonna grab our purse. We're going to meet, get in this. You're just hiding in the dark. Mm -hmm. We're going to meet some of Donovan's friends from Indiana that I know too. We used to hang out with them a couple of summers ago. They're my old coworkers actually. Yeah, old coworkers. Sorry. Two of them live here and hopefully they can tell us how they did that. Mm-hmm. Here, let me show what I'm gonna wear today. Donovan's fit, which I love. Wait, where are the sunglasses? Um, oh, right I was gonna say, I know I saw them somewhere. This is Donovan's fit. We're also going out after dinner. I love this. He hate, he like literally was obsessing over these sleeves and how they were too long, but I think it's so cool. Like you're, you're the it boy. I'm a New Yorker. Yeah. There you go. Let's go. Okay. Cheers. This is probably my favorite outfit so far. Yeah, slaying the day away, always. House, boots, never <laughs> been done before. <laughs> I mean. Also, this dress is from Naked, which is kind of ironic. But that's not why it's called Naked. Naked. So we're going back to our hotel. We just went out for our Mexican food, Marg's, and then we went to the public hotel and tried to go up to the rooftop. There was a private event, and they said if we wanted to buy a table, we could buy one for a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. But we <laughs> politely declined. Don and I might go back another night, but then we kind of just like decided that the night was over. So here we are. What was I gonna say? Oh, I also didn't want to like record too much while I was with them, just to respect. Like, especially when I haven't seen people in a really long time, I don't want to like throw a camera in their face not knowing how they feel. Like my close friends, I know how they feel about it, but like, I just try to be conscious about that. So, we, I promise you though, I can rest assured we had a good night. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice to catch up with some friends and like, it makes you feel like you live in the city, you know? Like, yeah. it makes, it, get, it gives you a taste of like what life would be like if you lived in the area, if you're like meeting up with people that you know. And it was fun. Good morning. Today is our six year anniversary. Grandma and grandpa over here have been together for a long time. And we're going to have a nice little chill day. We are going, one of my favorite influencers, Ella Rose, is having a pop-up closet sale. And she's also selling like some of her skincare brand. Um, it's also with Lauren Burke, who's another influencer. And we're gonna go check that out this morning get some brunch. I do have a fashion show to go to tonight. And then we have dinner plans at Nobu tonight, which we just decided to be bougie and go there. I think I already actually mentioned this in my vlog, but here's my outfit. It's feeling very Rachel Green, very 90s. Got my vest on, blue jeans, and then I rolled them up. I'm wearing these super cute Dolce Vita ballet flats that I just got. I'm obsessed with them. They're like this color wine. And I have my little, um, where is it? This bag that I'm gonna be wearing with it because it's black and brown and I feel like it works. And yeah, we're gonna have a nice day. I wanna go to Ralph's Coffee, maybe check out like the Upper East Side. It is raining, which sucks, but we're gonna have a good day. Guys, <laughs> this is the best part of New York, I think. We, I didn't really vlog much because it was fucking pouring. We got soaked and I had to go to a restaurant and I was super like, um, overstimulated, you could say. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at this oh, masterpiece. You made a little plate. Well, somebody was supposed to eat out of the box. Mm, but it was like for someone else. Yeah. Okay. Here, we can do this. Mm -mm. This will be mm. my plate, that's your plate. Here's our smorgasbord. This is what six years <laughs> looks like. We went um, thrift shopping. And I went to the pop-up. It was super like small, so I didn't want to record. Um, also very overstimulating. It was just, our morning was hectic. Like, it was pouring. And then thankfully it cleared up a little bit. Go, go, go We've been like, so go. I mean, this like trip is for our anniversary too. So, mm. but I think after this weekend it'll kind of slow down. And tomorrow I'm like I'm I'm not setting an alarm. I'll wake up at eleven. I don't care. 
<gasps> Ew, why didn't get the corner piece? No. Oh, here, here. No, it's fine. Here. Are you sure? <laughs> oh. Vodka pepperoni pizza. Donovan got buffalo. It's like a mukbang. All right, you guys, I'm all ready for my fashion show. It's with Negress Libram. They're kind of a little bit of a smaller designer, but I really like their stuff and I reached out to them and I got an invite and I'm super excited. This is my look. I just went with a blazer that I left open and I definitely did fashion tape it so that it would stay. And we've got just black shorts underneath. I have some fun accessories. I have these shoes and this bag and we're all set. Good morning, you guys. I don't have a better place to put my camera, so sorry it's so awkward, but it's Monday. I am absolutely exhausted, and I'm forgetting. Okay, I forgot like what skincare to do, but last night I had my first fashion show. Obviously, you guys knew that. And then Don and I, as we talked about multiple times, were had plans to go to Nobu, but we actually had to cancel them because Donovan just like all of a sudden started not feeling well last night. So we just ordered Shake Shack and watched Friends. And it was honestly like nice just to chill in the hotel and just like hang out because obviously not, we've been together six years. Like it's not about, I mean, of course it's fun to celebrate and we spent the whole day yesterday, but A, it's not about just that day. And B, it's not about all the fancy shit either. So we just kind of relaxed. We had a nice day yesterday and I am feeling so tired. We slept in. It's almost 11 a.m. Donovan is out getting us coffee while I answered some emails that I really needed to catch up on and some new campaigns that were in my inbox for fall, which is really exciting. But the fashion show last night was so surreal. I was so anxious on my way. Like I was almost in tears. Like crippled social anxiety on my way because I didn't know what to expect like I had never done this before it was completely completely new to me and I took an uber because you guys saw my outfit no way was I going in the subway like that um and then someone when I got back for the night asked me if I was working in the hotel and I didn't know what he meant by that but then I was talking to Donovan and I definitely figured out what he meant because it was this creepy guy and I just wanted to be like, fuck you, I'm just coming back from fashion week. Anyways, that was the only thing that sucked the whole night. But I got to the event and there was like a line outside the door. And um, there was a girl standing in front of me and she looked like she was there alone. So I was just like, I'm going to start talking to her because I, this is why I'm here. I came to meet people connect put myself out there and it was obviously really good for me because i needed to get over that fear if i want to be in this industry and then i started talking to her she was there alone so we kind of hung around each other and got each other's content and as i was taking pictures there was also like photographers there who like asked me if they could take photos as well which was really just like a fun experience too to be like photographed there um, I don't know where these photos are going to go, but it, it's possible that it could end up on the designer's website or like social media about the event. And it took a while for it to start, but originally we were standing seats and then there, like there was more seats that opened up. So we got to sit and we met two other people that were there like around our age. Like one girl wasn't a creator, but most of us were. So there was like four of us all chatting and like getting to know each other and super fun the show was seven minutes long so obviously these shows aren't that long because i mean how many pieces can like a designer make and show for a season especially with like slower fashion so that was my experience it was definitely 
I felt like I was in a fog on my way to the show. I was just like, what? I had like very bad imposter syndrome, I think, because I was like, I had to remind myself like I wouldn't be on my way to this if I didn't deserve it or if someone like I'm deserving of this as much as the next person. And I had to remind myself of that is someone saw potential and that's why I was there. But obviously it was my first time doing something like that and it was really, really cool. And I, as of right now, don't have any other fashion week stuff to go to, but we're still here for three more days. I just booked the ticket way in advance so it wouldn't be too expensive. And I thought, you never know if something comes up and I want to be in the city the whole time fashion week is happening. So we're just gonna make the most of our time in New York. Obviously I'm in no rush to get back to Indiana besides working, but that's all. this is also what I'm doing. And yeah, today is gonna be a very chill day. I'm gonna be comfy. We might go to, I think we're gonna go to Nobu tonight though. And my package that I had my dad send of my last outfit is out for delivery. So everything's working out. It's also 9-11, which is gonna feel very surreal being here in New York during that time. So definitely going to take a moment and honor that today. And I'm curious to see like what, obviously the vibes are gonna be really heavy and rightfully so, but it's just very, yeah. I don't really know how to put into words like the feeling of being here on a day like this because it's very heartbreaking but we are going to just have a chill day honor that and i'll take you guys with me you guys don and i were on our way out and then the front desk stopped me and said my package arrived so we're gonna try it on Wait a minute. oh <laughs> my gosh <laughs> fuck all my stuff is all over the floor i had to try this on right away because i've waited for it for weeks and if it came all this way because my dad sent it and it didn't fit. I would literally cry, but it, it's even better than I imagined. I love it. walk into a store and find something I love that I can wear right then and there, I'm gonna put it on right away. I just walked into Madewell. We were looking for a gold jewelry, or a gold necklace. Oh, after voices. Let's go near. And I put it on right away, and I think it's really cool. We're about to head out the door for Nobu. Here is my outfit. I'm wearing this little red dress. I have been loving the red going around, so I decided to get one for New York Fashion Week. This pleat keeps messing up though, but I'll fix it in a second. But it's from Shopo, which is one of my favorite places to get like fancy dresses. And it has this cute little silhouette. And then I've got little pointed heels on so it doesn't feel as cutesy, a little bit more chic. I've got a high pony going on because I felt like I needed my hair out of the way because this is already a lot. And then I just got some necklaces from Madewell, gold earrings, and then gold watch and little black purse. Donovan's outfit is also super slay. He got this shirt at Zara. The, where are the pants from? ASOS? Mm -hmm. ASOS and then shoes are, you got them at Nordstrom Rack like forever ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we just got our drinks. Donovan got this little, what is it? Some sort of margarita, it's so good. And then I got the lychee martini and it's so, it goes, it's so good. It's a lychee. It's a fruit. It's good, right? <laughs> All right, we got the crispy tuna things. And I guess she said dip it in soy sauce and then add the tuna on top. Then we have, what is this? Okay. Uh, yellowtail. Yellowtail and jalapeno. Shrimp. Shrimp tempura. Eel, eel and cucumber. Avocado. Good morning. Happy day six. My computer died last night, so I didn't record our Nobu thoughts. Your computer? Did I say my computer? Yeah. 
my camera died. <laughs> um, sometimes you just say whatever. I know, sometimes I really do. Sometimes I edit and I'm like, what was I trying to say? Anyways, Nobu thoughts. It was good. Like, undeniably, the food is good. It's high quality, but definitely overhyped. I will say we did also go on a budget, so I'm sure if we had money to blow, it would have been a little bit different. I'm setting you guys down for a sec, but if we had money to blow, I think it would have been better because we could have had the full experience, but we had the crispy tuna bites, um sushi and then mochi the mochi was honestly my favorite part mm -hmm. but the place that we went to a couple nights ago kazunori i would go there in a heartbeat over going back to nobu and i think donovan and i agreed on this we just also felt like we didn't, fit. we didn't fit in there like we don't we don't blow that much money on food like we wanted to do it for our anniversary but like i would take a hole in a wall restaurant that's like of course like you can still dress up but yeah over nobu i just kind of felt like out of place there and that i had to like watch my actions because i had to like fit the vibe of the restaurant i don't know it's just it was too nice for me i think but i'm glad we went i wanted to see what all the hype was about even though i don't think there was there should be that much hype about it but maybe i'll go i'll go again when i have money to blow one day and see if my opinion changes Okay, we came back to this little Ruby's cafe because it's so good. I got the fried chicken burger, or fried chicken sandwich, and then the creamy chicken pasta. I'm so excited. Donovan and I decided that if we move to New York by some reason, some chance, the Upper East Side is where we want to live. Like, I would have to live by Central Park. 100% and the Upper East Side is like spread out and it would be so nice especially for Luna but we're gonna go get Ralph's coffee and then go to the Met Public hotel. When we walked out of here, we literally jaws dropped. So beautiful. There's such a nice breeze. Got some drinks going. Matching. I'm wearing my lace set. That. Laced up. Yep. Breakfast. Breakfast. Brunch. It's 12:30. We had to edit our podcast this morning, and I had to do some work. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna. I'm like so short fused right now. Both of us are hangry, I guess. But at least I'm comfy today. No more heels. No more uncomfortable outfits. But we love Williamsburg. Came here the other day when it was raining. So we decided to come back and just hang around Brooklyn. What? I'm like... What? Donovan makes one wrong move. He's getting thrown into the street. All right, we're at this place called Sunday in Brooklyn. I got the shakshuka. Donovan got biscuits and gravy, and we got a hazelnut, what was it? Brown butter. Brown butter pancake. It looks so yummy. Is it good? <gasps> I'm so excited. But 
think I want this for It's like not super sweet, which is nice. It's like a sponge cake. This looks amazing. Hey you guys, this is the moment we're dreading. We have to pack. The place is a mess. But I thought, because I don't think I actually fully showed you guys a haul of everything I've bought, that I would show you before I pack it all away. So first off are these necklaces. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Don't go nowhere. These three together from Madewell. I had zero necklaces. I have been wearing one that Donovan got me. It had a little D on it. He got it for me a couple years ago, but it broke, which sucked. So I needed some more like little dainty ones just to add a little something. And then I got this, which you guys saw I was putting it on on the street, but I love it. I think it's super cute. Definitely a statement piece. I'm realizing that it's all about accessories. Like you can have the most plain outfit, but I mean, I guess this isn't like new information but i guess i'm trying to be better about like not only are shoes and like purses impor important but like jewelry as well then from ella rose's closet sale she's an influencer i got this two-piece set it's crocheted doesn't i don't love it but it was no try-ons and no returns but i mean i think this skirt i think they can be worn especially the skirt like a little western moment with maybe a cowboy boot would be really cute Together, it doesn't really look like me, but it looks really cool. And it's from um, Heymont and Nandita. I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but it's like an Indian made, really, like it's really heavy duty. Like it, I can tell that it was made really well. So I got a really good deal on it because I looked up the original price and it was like $600, <laughs> which is insane. And I got it for 150. Probably now that I tried it on, I wouldn't have gotten it, but we're gonna make it work. Then for fall, I got this Oakenfort brown sweater. I've been wanting a crew neck sweater this color, like a basic since last year. And it's so soft, not itchy at all. And babe, is that all we got? Oh, we did get some other fun stuff, like this piece of artwork at a flea market. I love this. Then we got a Monet art poster from the Met yesterday which I can't really show it to you guys until it's open, but I'm not gonna be doing that. And I think that's all I did. I really didn't shop that much. I shopped so much before the trip that I like, honestly, I didn't wanna buy more stuff for like summer, but it was too hot to even think about like fall clothes. And I figured I just bought so much for this trip that I didn't really need to do that much shopping. So I, I think I made it pretty well through the trip with all my outfits. Everything worked well, no wardrobe malfunctions, even though it was so hot out, but that's everything I got. Okay, last dinner. We're going to the Brooklyn Bridge. My corset is from Motel Rocks. Pants are my Zara trousers, and we are going comfy today. I cannot possibly put any heels on loafers on, flats on. Mm -mm. Not that these are even that comfortable. These are probably the most uncomfortable sneaker I own. I need to get like insoles in them the next time I travel, but better than everything else I brought.